Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Write an article about the rules at your home. Yes. Describe the rules Explain why these rules are needed. One hundred to one hundred and twenty words. What is thirty words? Okay, this was the question that appeared in the exam everywhere in all parts of England, right? Yes. So what are your views about this question? What would you say? How would you, if I would ask you that, what are the rules at your home, then what would you like to tell me? Uh, it would be, uh, I have to, I have to come at my home before midnight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I have to clean, keep clean my home, mm -hmm. and I can't make noise loudly at my home because of my neighbor. Mm -hmm. And I have to. Um, okay, that's good enough. Why these rules are needed? This, uh, this rules are needed in our daily life because uh, uh, mm -hmm. I can't say, uh, what mm -hmm. should I say? Mm -hmm. These rules are important for good health, for discipline. Yes, and for uh, en uh, environment. Mm -hmm. So we can learn, we can learn Mm. Mm. We can learn in our life how to how to stay in our home and how to mm. uh, how to be honest. Mm. Mm. It's very mm. important in our life. Not our, so, okay? Look, our our examiner is not your friend, okay? You are not talking, not you and your examiner, right? Yes. At your home, like at my home, these rules are important. Our is used when two people are together, right? If you say this is our house, this is not the house of the examiner and yours, okay? Yes. So don't say our. Okay. Mm-hmm my house or at my home something like it so can i say my house yeah of course you can mm -hmm. if you yeah. say in our country people wake up early it's not the country of your examiner and yours it's just yours okay reader is actually the person with who you are communicating right yes mm. okay now um Take a photo of this task and uh, yes, I took it. Okay. Would you like to write it? Can I teach yes, you the I... how to start it? Let me just teach you how to start it. Rest of it, you can do it by yourself too. Yes, yes. I need to learn how to write article. It doesn't matter if it's an article, if it's an essay, if it's a letter, if it's an email, none of your concern. Your concern are only these two points. That is all. 
You don't yes. care. It's an article in a magazine or a school magazine or to a teacher. You don't care. Your concern is these two points and this title in here that is rules at home, right? So you yeah. must always start off with firstly, I want to describe firstly. I want to. I want to describe. Describe the rules at my home. The rules. At my home. At my home. Okay. Now, uh, as most of the people are not good at English at this level, so I always recommend that you use the approach of phrases, comma, phrase, comma, phrase, comma. Wake up early, comma. Come home at before twelve o'clock, comma. Take breakfast before nine o'clock, comma. Right. And just like yeah. this, and 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 then the last one, and then put a full stop here, okay? Yes. Anything that you want to write, I mean, you can fill in the blanks with the phrases, the little words. Then secondly, I want to explain. I want to explain. Why these rules are Why needed? Why these rules are needed? Why these these rules are needed? Are needed. Okay. Now at um, home. At home. That's very nice. At home. So we just put a semicolon in here, and after that, again, use phrases for discipline, for safety, for good health, for helping so, each other, for after, after uh, keep, home, keeping the house clean. Home. Hmm. After home, I have to put comma, right? Yeah, after every little information that you give, you put a comma because that's not complete information. You want to tell me more. Just like you want, if I say, what's your favorite food? So you, you say, my favorite food is semicolon. I like to eat pizzas, burgers, comma, sandwiches, comma, shawarma, comma, chicken, fried chicken, anything like it. And... I like traditional food too. So basically you're sharing different ideas about what kind of food you like with, and separating it with small pauses, that is commas. Yes. So this so way- I have to start this way, like this firstly and secondly, I have to write like this. this. This way you'd be able to say more in lesser words. Because the entire game is managing words too, because you just need to write 100 words or 110 words. And I'm sure that this, this is an art called, you know, writing precisely. And that is only possible when you use commas and different ideas, like for discipline, comma, for house cleanliness, comma, for safety, comma, to go yeah. to work on time, comma, for good health, comma, to maintain good relationship with family, comma. To organize time, comma, right? To use yeah. time carefully, comma. So basically you're saying so much in just 100 words then that shows your potential uh, to express yourself. And also so. remember that, uh, remember B1 level students or A1 level students, their problem is writing full complete sentence because they don't know is, are, was, were, has, have, had. They don't know. But they don't they do know little phrases like waking up, taking breakfast, um, going to work. They know this little bit English, right? And they can join those little phrases together to write it. Can you understand? Yes. That? And that is the end of it. No matter if it is even if it's a letter even if it is an article, even if it is um, a review, sometimes you might just, get a review as well. Just you're, two phrase, just two phrase. Just your concern is just this, that you need to, this is your topic. And these are the two points about it, that's all. You need to think that this point is related to this one, right? So you want to say, describe the rules at home, right? Explain why these yes. rules are needed at home. Is this difficult? No, it's easy. Then you write it, and then I'm I'm going to introduce you to long text reading. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just two pages, two pages I have to write. First and secondly, that's it. No need any part. No need any what? 
any more page do I, do I need to write there is two part firstly and secondly should i write these conclusion are just, these are just no 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 conclusion no nothing just explain just this it. and remember yeah. marks are only given for what examiner has asked you again i always give this example to my students if the exam examiner is asking you for a burger you try to give extra fries and a coke to the burger a coke to the examiner he is not going to be happy because he wants a burger even if you give extra extra cheese or whatever he is not going to be happy your main thing is explaining what he has asked you to explain yes yes don't so first give him what he wants that's the basic need see barely we can write 50 words here or maybe 60 you can write here because you know more rules 40 words you can write in here 40 to 45 words you can write in here task done that's all then how is it first mark mark a uh, score how is it score i don't understand so what is score about this uh, writing article they will give me you will not get any score just examiner will rate it is that a pass a merit or anything like it I can send you a photo to have a look at the score. It's out of 26 sometimes, rather most of the time. Uh, what type of uh, mark they have? Pass, merit, and? Distinction. If I, if I write good. Then distinction. Uh, and I, 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 I wrote a study. Merit. I wrote a study, the writing. It was just pass, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so let me know on my writing how is it pass or merit or. Yeah, you can write it. I'll let you know. Okay. So should I write it here now? Yeah. Okay. And I'm time. I'm just going, just going to share something with you. Hold on. For a second, I will share uh, with you the mark sheet criteria so that you can read it once. Hold on, please. Say it on the line. I'm going to send it to you on WhatsApp. Okay. It's twenty eight. Yeah, twenty eight. And if this got twenty, so which writing? I'll get 20. That is what I will tell you. That's not your concern. Okay, okay. If it's 14 or is it 20 or is it 25? Okay, if you if you if you tell me on my writing, I can understand easily. Yesterday I figured that your writing could be 20, but it could be below 20 as well. Okay. But it will be it so... is a pass, pass for sure. So can I start my writing now? Yes. Okay. So should I leave now or not? Why would you leave? The class is on. You'll write it. You have 15 to 20 minutes to write it down. Okay. I'm, I'm starting writing. Yes. Yes. Okay, read the question, please. Mm, write an article about the rules at your home. Describe the rules and explain why these rules are needed. Mm -hmm. Okay, answer now. Hold on. Yes. No. 
answer read? Can you see that? Firstly, firstly, I want to describe the rules at my home. Hmm. I need to wake up early in the morning around eight o'clock. Then I take brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, comma eat breakfast and keep clean my kitchen after that i if i go out of home need to come at home at midnight mm. cannot make noise loudly at home mm. have keep clean home mm. secondly i want to explain why these rules are needed at home mm. because discipline Mm. Good, uh, good uh, environment, mm -hmm. and then for good health. And mm -hmm. these rules are very important at home. Okay, all right. Uh, let's have a look at the grammar quickly. Firstly, I want to describe uh, the rules at my home. Semicolon. This is called semicolon. The semicolon connects this sentence with this one without any joining words. Okay, then you will write your I capital. I need to wake up early in the morning around eight o'clock. Then I take, cut this. Then I brush my teeth, eat breakfast and clean my kitchen. After that, if I go out, if I go out of home, home, I need to return. I need to, re to come at home at midnight and not take cannot make l loud noises and uh... at home okay look you are writing full sentences so you have to finish your sentences and start a new one for example because you're not writing with commas you're writing full sentences like i i need to i i look i brush my teeth full stop okay because you're writing okay. full sentences, then I eat breakfast and keep my my kitchen. Uh, okay, okay, keep my kitchen clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, after that, if I go out of home, don't write it like this after that because nothing happens like this, right? So, okay. in general, break the rules. Like, what are the rules uh, at your home? Like, waking up at 7 o'clock or eating breakfast at 9, you know, before 9 maybe. And, uh, you know, yeah. returning home before 12, before midnight. And not making loud noises at home. Commas. We, you separate these ideas with different commas, and have and and cleaning the house. But have is wrong. Keeping the house clean. It's written like this. Keeping the house clean. Uh, can I rephrase it for you quickly here? Uh, like for example, you say, you said that. Uh, firstly. Firstly, yes. I want to. Firstly, I want to. Describe. I want to describe the rules at my home. Home. You, if you are good yeah. at English and you know how to connect, you can you can also say these rules are. These rules are. Depends on you. If you want to write it like this, if you don't want it, just cut it off and just straight up write. Uh, in here, waking up. Waking up early, comma, what is the next one? Uh, getting ready, f getting ready for breakfast, getting ready. Taking your brush, brushing my teeth. Brushing is a rule for in your house. No, sorry. Getting ready. Getting ready, uh, getting ready. I think it's much better that you go with breakfast before. Rules are actually principles. Right. So, um, for example, you say taking breakfast before nine o'clock. That's a rule, you know. Yeah. Okay. So taking uh breakfast. 
before nine o'clock. Before nine a.m. Nine a.m. in the morning. Okay. After that, comma, comma, meeting friends only on weekends. For example, this is the rule, right? Yeah. Meeting friends only on weekends. Buying groceries once in a week. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe once in a week or twice in a week. Buying grocery. That's a rule. Like So people follow yeah, that. Yeah. So buying grocery. Are you married? Yes. Once in a week. So how often do you buy grocery? Once in a week. Once in a week. Okay. And maybe, maybe if the rule is... Uh, um return and home before midnight return and home before midnight see i'm using little phrases to compose it and i'm writing a lot of information there right returning home before midnight and what after that you wrote me and keeping the house clean yeah keeping the house clean uh like most in most of the places the rule is that you need to do the dishes right after eating you know that's also a rule but it's fine if you yes. just see keeping the house clean and uh uh and um, not not making not making mm. loud noises full stop i think that's a lot because we can barely write like 50 words can, I, I, can i can we add another one so which one? What do you want to add? And can't can't watching movie all the time. Can't watch TV. Okay, so you can write in here. Uh, yes. not allowed to watch TV all the time. Yeah, all the time. Not allowed to watch TV all the time. But that's too much then. You have to cut some information from it. You can write anything. You know, depends on you. Yes. Okay, after that, the second point would be, secondly, 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 I want to explain. Secondly, I want to explain why these rules why these rules are needed at home at home for discipline for discipline for helping the family yeah. for helping the members members of the family for good members health. of whom if i say members of whom yeah that's fine for good health for good health for good environment for peaceful, peaceful environment at home environment at home or environment you can go with any at home mm. What else for for cleaning the house for keep for cleaning uh, the house for food hygienic hygiene for managing the household you can also write hygiene depends on you it totally depends on your ability of gathering words I'm just telling you what is the basic way for managing the household. For having good relationship with other with uh, with the family, right? For having with family with with members at home. Yeah, for having good relationship with members. So we can make it long. Depends at home. on you. At home and lastly, and also and also what. Rules are important for discipline, for organizing your, uh, for time management. Yes. 
time management for time management time man managing time manage management we call it okay management and uh, more what else my, 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 my. Uh, hmm? for uh, time else? management at home the rules are important for safety Yes, of course, safety. As you said that you come back home earlier. And uh, um, what else? You want to write about neighbors too, but that's not your home. Um, anything else that you want to write in here? Rules are important for managing the household. For a peaceful environment at home, you know, and um, cleaning house, managing household, for having good relationship, and, uh, and in particular, going to work on time, you know, going yes. to, to work on time, and eating on time. But that will be too much. I think it is still too much. We just need to cut some from it. It's it's more than one. How many was how many how many was there? Well, actually, I can't copy it because I have typed it in here. Um. Forty five words in the top one and probably around fifty in the bottom. Because that's longer. I think it's above hundred. Yeah. So actually the point is is that you don't really have to write so much. Don't just follow the pattern and think of little phrases and write them down. That is all. Yes, I understand now. Okay, so uh, you can take a photo of this even if you'd like. And uh, yes, if I start like this, uh in these articles i want to describe the rules <laughs> email articles if any if any topic comes so i have to write like this uh another topic i can give you as homework and we can quickly move about with uh, uh, the reading okay i can give you one okay. more this also appeared in the test probably three to four days back or uh, what was the previous date 18th 18th uh, december okay the topic was actually see once you would learn this then 25 percent of your exam would be ready because writing tasks this one is extended writing tasks right so a lot of your yeah. um Oh, it's cold. Give me hot water. Put a little sign around. How was my writing? Pass. Pass. And how? And how is your writing score? Distinction. Yeah. Okay. I Maybe have not I written difficult. Improve. I have not written difficult English here. You know, otherwise yeah. you can write like, uh, like if you want to change that, I would say. Firstly, I want to elaborate. I want to use bigger words, but basically based on whatever is given, what students of B one level can write, this is what they know. There's nothing new to it. They already know all of this. They don't have to learn new yeah. words for this. Just need to learn how yeah. to write it down because there are marks for organizing the ideas. Uh, let no me need to you. make complex. I think let me tell you something uh, in here. I, I want to show you a result card 
so that you can have an idea of how the marks are given. Uh, Okay, this guy passed recently, and I don't know if you can read it or not, but... No, I don't... Yeah, yeah, I can read now. It's not clear, but... Um, I think I have the photos other, at other places too, which are clearer. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm see, I, I can see now. Okay, but it's not, it's very blurry. Uh, anyways, the marks are given. There is your report card looks kind of like this, okay? That carries, uh, you know, marks and this is pass and above pass and high pass. So these are bars given in here. This is how examiners mark it. And then uh, we have writing part here. Now listen to me carefully. I don't know if you can read it or not, but I can read it for you. I can read, I can read. Okay. You need to so check your, you need to wait a second, hold on. You need to check your requirement for task four. So for task four, the requirement is organization and structure, organizing your test texts logically and clearly and presenting your writing appropriately. Language control using the appropriate words and grammar accurately. The exam, the marks are, look, he got less marks than this. Because yeah. this is something everybody is not good at. People don't know grammar, okay? People don't know how to organize ideas. But somehow he managed to pass. And I'm sure you would also do the same. Because in this way, task fulfillment, task fulfillment, understanding the question, answering the question fully and appropriately. Look, he got higher marks in this. And that's why he passed. Yeah. Okay. It is also important to understand the question, just like what is being asked from you. Uh, organization and structure. Why do I say go with firstly and secondly? Because there are marks for organizing your text logically. If they have given us a requirement, I think we should write accordingly. Language okay. control means, why do I say language control and I say write small phrases because you don't know grammar? Because there are marks for it. That's the only thing. I hope you understand. Yes, I understand now. So you wrote it. So if I if I write like this, it's okay. You write in your like own it. way, but follow the pattern to organize your ideas, to present your writing clearly, along with language control. Right? If I if I if I if I write like you, is it okay? What do you mean by that? Uh, if I like how you wrote, you can, if I if I you follow, can follow the... the pattern, but of course you have different words. You can use your own words, but yeah. follow the pattern. Yeah, yeah. If I like this pattern, I'm saying that. Yeah, everybody has their own vocabulary and words. You use your own way, but I'm telling you, we need to meet the criteria for passing the test. That's all. Okay. Yeah. So the criteria is fulfillment uh, of answering. The question fully and appropriately. Fully means don't miss any aspect of the question. This is what it means fully. Appropriately means properly, right? That's yes. one. Organization of idea. When I say firstly, secondly, thirdly, that definitely hints towards the second point. Thirdly, language control. You don't have language control, okay? So that's why yeah. language control means you can't go for appropriate words and grammar accurately because you don't know how to join two sentences together or, or you just keep on writing and just you don't you just connect it the way just I noticed right now. So that's why I recommend my students to go for comma strategy because it works. It gives you organization. It gives you language control as well because you, you're writing small phrases. And after that, it also gives you... It allows you to, uh, you know, present your ideas clearly because you're writing small, small phrases and you're breaking them with yes. punctuation. 
See, punctuation is also a form of grammar. We might not know linking words. We might not know do, does, did, has, have, had, whatever. But you know how to say it clearly with commas. This is why I use commas. Okay, I got it now. This is like a design. You know, design in a way that I hope you understand. Because I absolutely know that nobody can learn grammar in 15 days but they can learn how to do something in 15 days yes so i never focus on grammar i never teach anyone grammar right i know that that's yeah, not yeah. important they need to learn what they should write and they already know that english they just need to learn how to put it logically and with organization that is all Yeah, okay, I understand now. Okay, now the time is actually up. Let's call it a day for today. I'll give you homework. You can write this and share this with me. I think tomorrow I'll introduce you to long text reading and we can solve it together. Once I'll solve one passage with you, you will understand what to do. The question is, this uh, question appeared in the exam 18th of December. Write a letter. See, even if it's a letter to your friend, you don't care. Don't waste your words on, hello, hi, how are you? We don't care, okay? The marks are okay. given for those points. Write a letter to your friend, friend, about a party you attended last weekend. About a party, about a party you attended, uh, attended. Last weekend, okay? But it's something that had happened to you. Number one, describe the party. Part two, why explain Why did you enjoy the party? Yeah, okay. This is did you. Did you means in the past. Let's change it to why you enjoyed the party. Enjoyed. It's in the past. I Second form of verb you will use. Enjoyed the party. Okay. Past form. So... Have to start letter with dear. Nothing. There's no need to write anything. So I can start like article. Yeah, straight up say. Firstly, I want to write about. If you want to say dear friend, say dear friend, comma, and then just start off with firstly. There are no marks for the ending or in the beginning. The marks are just for explaining the points. It's just the context, right? The examiner okay. gives you the marks for points. There are so many people who write ending remarks and start in and all. There are no marks for it. You want to waste your time, you can. Okay, okay. I got it now. Mm -hmm. So this, so when I need to uh, send you this? You can send it anytime before class. You will start it, uh, start it like... Uh, firstly, I want to describe the party I attended last weekend. Weekend. Weekend, right? Yeah, weekend. Mm. Firstly, uh, yes, I want to describe the party I attended last weekend. Stemmy Colin. It was my friend's birthday party. Full stop. There were many people there, or maybe the room was decorated with flowers or... Okay, I I, I will write like me. Mm. In this one, you can write, uh, describe the party. Uh, It was my friend's birthday party. Okay. Yeah, birthday, birthday party or wedding party, any kind of party. Any kind of party that you attended last weekend. Then you can describe the party. There were 
there were flowers, good food and music and whatever was there. You can talk about it. Okay. Talk about and, you know, uh, you can also talk about how many people were there, what kind of food was there. Secondly, why you enjoyed the party? Because you ha- you met your friends after a long time. You know, you ate your yeah. favorite food with them. You danced a lot. You sang your favorite songs with them. You took a lot of photos. You exchanged gifts or maybe, I don't know, anything you, you want to write. But in the past tense, you would write. Second okay. form. What is the second form of eat? Eat. Here. Great. You're going to do a great job. I hope so by tomorrow. Thank you so much. You can submit Thank it you. any anytime. See, if you prepare this, 25% of your exam is already ready. You just need to learn three points, point one. Once again, understanding the question and answering it fully and appropriately. That's one. Point number two, you need to remember how to put your ideas in a structured organized and logical way cl- with clarity okay third point is you need to take care of your language also spelling punctuation and also your forms of verbs what you call tenses and all your parts of speech and if you do so, that you can get a pass so if i if i write uh, i have done or i had instead of eight is it okay? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Anything that you write in the past form, anything that you write in the past form, just understand the question because English is such a flexible language that allows you to say something in 10 different ways. Okay. So which which one is uh, more good for writing I had or I have done? Depends on the question type. Write it tomorrow, I'll see. Okay, thank you.